Hey everyone, I'm Sam from BioCosplay, and in this video I'm finally finishing Super Boo. Got to show off the finished Boo shoes. Or how we sewed those together. So I previously showed us patterning those, my wife Ashley and I. And that was with plastic wrap and masking tape on my foot with some aluminum foil for it to make the shape. Then after cutting those out, Ashley transferred them to paper and added a little bit extra room around the edges for seam allowance. And we ended up needing a little bit of extra space on the back of the shoe here just so it would stretch over my foot all the way and be comfy. So there's what it ended up looking like. You can see in the back here is a little V section that was added. And this is like a stretch faux suede sort of velvety fabric we found. So then the shoe just slips in here. So there's what the shoe looks like inside of there. And this just slips over all that. To fasten the belt in the back, I'm going to be using these metal snap buttons. And usually I'll glue this flat side to the bare foam and the non-flat side I'll sew to the other end. So I put the belt on and I had my wife mark how far it should be cinched with a pencil. There's a little faint line there. And now I'm just going to sew this on here. I'm going to leave a little bit of space between the line and the button. Once I've got it positioned I'm just going to hold it with my thumb and then start sewing. I sewed it on backwards. I sewed the button on like this, but it's actually supposed to be this way. So I took it off and I'm going to redo it. I'm going to turn it a little bit so I'm not poking through the same areas. Hopefully the foam keeps its structural integrity. Okay, I've got the buttons on the proper way. Now, for the placement of the other side, I'll pop the other side of the button in. And then line up the belt where it should go. And then I'm just going to push down real hard. And then I'll make little indents. And then I know where to glue the other side. Before I glue these, I'm going to sand them on some 80 grit sandpaper. That way the back's a little roughed up and the glue has something to grip onto. So then I'm just going to glue this down with some super glue. I'm just going to put glue on the button itself. And then press it down and use some accelerant to speed up the drying. And then same thing for the other one. And I'm putting a decent amount because I want the glue to come out through the little holes. So there are like little peaks of glue sticking out to help hold it on there. And if need be I can go back and put a drop of glue in the little hole as well or around the edge to help hold it down a bit. I usually wipe off the excess accelerant with a paper towel. There it is. Now my belt's ready to go. For Boo's eyes, I'm going to be using a material I've seen fursuit makers use called buckram. It's like a real tiny weave with holes in it. So when it's up close, you can see through it still. Then I can paint his red eyes on this. And I did a test here, but then I thought it would be easier to glue the cloth in and then paint the eyes on so I didn't have to fiddle with the positioning. So I've cut out two little shapes here that will fit in the head. Like this. And probably mark it with a pencil just so I know inside here roughly where it should be. Now I'm just going to put some hot glue around the eye. I'm using this Dremel glue pen. I'll glue in my shape. And try not to burn myself because the glue will poke through the little holes. Hopefully you don't hear the fireworks happening outside. There's one eye successfully in. I'm going to put a little bit of glue around the edge of these as well, just to keep them down. Now to paint the eyes on, I made this little template out of paper. I just drew on the eye and then cut out that section. I'm going to start with Scarlet Red from Angela's Paint. And if it needs to be brightened up, I'll use a different red. I'm just going to paint in the little guideline here. I'm doing my best not to get any on the pink. And since my little template is still connected up at the top, I'll need to go back in and fill in the top of the eye. Where you can start to see the eye on this first one. I think I will need the brighter red. So now to brighten up the eyes a little bit, I'm going to go on with the just plain red. 
and paint is not as well. I think I might do the line a little bit smaller maybe to start with. So then it kind of looks like it fades out into the darker red. Okay, there's the eyes. I'll probably look at them in different lighting and then see if they need to be a little brighter or if that's good enough. I think they look pretty good looking at them here. So now all we have left is just to try it on. I didn't go over the pants because I just bought the pants off Amazon. I'll link those below. But here's Boo. I hope you like it. Check out Instagram or my other social media if you want to see more pictures. I'll probably post some short videos over there as well later this week. Thank you for joining me on my Boo crafting adventure. I hope you enjoyed the process. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time.